Hey storytellers, happy Monday. So I'm back today to talk to you guys about something new called the five W's. So when we started our unit on storytelling, we brainstormed all different things that we could write about. We know that we can write about things that happened to us in the past. We learned that we can write about things that we know. We learned about things that we could write about things that we can teach other people too, okay? Now guess what? There's still gonna be some times that you get stuck as a writer. It happens to everyone. So today we're gonna to talk about some different questions that we can ask after um, we have illustrated a story. So then as a writer, we might be able to go back and add some more details, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys our 5W poster and talk about the different questions that we could ask. Okay, maybe we're gonna ask, who is there? Where are they? What are they doing? Why are they doing it? When are they doing it? Okay, so those are our posters, our poster that we can reference when we are writing. Okay, and I also put it up. I am, um, we uploaded it to the slides so you can have access to it so you can pull it up at home as well. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you my picture and I want you to see if you can come up with different questions that you can ask me. And it's, it is hard to come up with questions at times, okay? So here's my picture. Mrs. Wallace is still working on being an illustrator, okay? Let's look at my, my 5W poster. It says, who is there? Do we know who is there? Yeah, this is a dog, okay? What's the dog's name? Did I write what the dog's name is? Oh, so now I know as an illustrator, I can go back and write the dog's name. I'm gonna label his name. Here's his name, let's sound it out. J, A, X, Jax. Oh, so his name is Jax. Another question is, where are they? So do we know yet where our dog is? No, we don't know where our dog is. So now Miss Falls knows that she has to go back and add some details. So my readers, you guys at home that are watching my story, you will be able to know what is going on in my story, okay? So I'm gonna work on my illustration for you. You wanna know the secret to getting to be a better illustrator? The secret is that you just have to keep practicing over and over and over again. Okay. Here it is. Do we know where our dog is at now? He's in his house. Very good. Now the next question is, what are they doing? So do we know what our dog's doing? Oh, so now I know as the author, I need to go back and add that. I need to add a picture of what they're doing. All right, what do you think I added? I added this food bowl. So Jax is eating some dog food. So now we know what he's doing. The next question is, why are they doing it? Why do dogs eat food? Because they're hungry, okay? So we're, we can't really draw that they're hungry, right? That's just a feeling that someone has, okay? And another question we ask is, when are they doing it, okay? So is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Hmm, we don't have that added there yet. So I'm gonna draw and add when they are doing it. So my author, my readers at home know. The author's gonna go back and add those details. Okay, when is Jack eating his dog food? During the day. Good job. So again, this is our writing, the 5W poster that you guys can reference, okay? So I'm gonna challenge you today to write us a story. And after you're done writing your story, you can go back to the slides and you can access the 5W poster. And either with an adult at home or maybe an older sibling, you guys can go through it together and ask the questions. Do we know who is there? Do we know why they are there? 
Do we not know where they are? Okay, do we know what they're doing? Do we know why they're doing it? Do we know when they're doing it? All right, boys and girls, can't wait to see what you guys write about. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.